No, so you guys are all sleeping. None of you guys wanted to go down to the bar or nothing like that. Nope. Everybody's just like, yeah, we're done. We're done I got now. beat up, sunk underneath a, like a thing, and then yeah, yeah. Okay. it's been a rough day. Okay, uh, during the night, uh, Ackerfelt and Hemek both have very bizarre dreams. Nothing, nothing specific. Just you're you're feeling really funny, and. <laughs> About this, about a little after, a little after midnight. Uh, I'm not gonna say. A little, no, it's probably about three in the morning by this point. You both uh, wake up pretty close to the uh, same time as each other in a cold sweat, and you're feeling really nauseous. Uh, oh yeah, that thing. Ro yeah. Roll a uh, roll a uh, endurance check, both of you guys. Okay. Oh, why do I have this cord wrapped around me? 15 or 16? 15. I mean, without your armor, it's probably higher. Okay, I uh, think you armor. Stifle. I don't think. I think armor is only strength dex. Yeah, it's strength dex. Oh. No, it's. Oh, no, no, it is con. It's con too? Yeah, yeah. it's con. So I'd be a plus 17 without okay. my armor. Right. Ghost. Akerfell, you managed to stifle back your vomiting. Oh, Hemic, uh, not so lucky. <laughs> Interestingly enough, let me let me see here. Let me look at the. Uh... Okay, uh, Ackerfelt actually. Ackerfelt, after after you stifle back your. Stifle back your puking. You feel fine after that. Woohoo! I, I win. Hemic, uh, n let me take a look here. Okay, Hemic, not so much. You, uh, you barf all over your bed sheets. Uh, point of note, do I hear this? I don't know. Is Hemic in the same room as you? Is I Hemic, would. Which, which room is Hemic in? Well, if I'm, if I I'm thought Ackerfeld like, had a room all to himself is the thing. Yeah, but I'm I'm more thinking like, could I hear him through a wall? Because retching's pretty loud. Yeah. And I doubt this is a very noisy hotel. My probably. Yeah, you can probably you can probably hear it. But okay. anyway, uh, he make he make you also notice that not only have you ruined the top side of your bed sheets, but also like your skin has become all slimy. And your entire bed is just like dripping slime by this point, like, like the bed, like the bed sheets <laughs> just have slime coating them. It's okay if you die, we'll just throw you into another holy well. <laughs> so yeah, Hemic, you, you have up. you have strangely slimy skin, and you uh, lose a healing surge. Okay. Obviously, this is a physical physical metaphor for Hemic's slimy personality. I don't know. Right. So anyway, uh, does anybody help Hemic? Um, the extent of me being able to help Hemic would be to either <laughs> wake up Flint or use my amazing plus seven heal on him. Which... Like my the extent of helping would be to not help him. What? <laughs> Well, I mean, I can't really do much. <laughs> right. You will heal him, no. <laughs> <laughs> you, how else will you earn? <laughs> um, psionic, wavy heal beams? I don't know. <laughs> Microwave Wait, beams. Deepak Chopra? <laughs> <laughs> well, fine. If, well, Flint probably heard it. Flint is good at the perception, so... Okay. Right. That is true. Yeah, your perception minus five while you're sleeping, so. It's like 19. Whatever that is. Passive. Yeah. 19, it's decent. Yeah, you probably heard it. <clears throat> so anyway, you you come in in your little night nightgown and cap. Because <laughs> I'm sure, I'm sure, I'm sure a man of the wilderness has one of those. Totally. So no, you come in there. 
you come in there and you see Hebeck has has really not crapped the bed, but he has really messed up his bed by this point. Just like puke all over the comforter and then there's a weird slimy substance on the sheets. It's horrible. I just imagine if Ackerfeld failed the check, he just vomits a lightning breath. Oh god! <laughs> I have a burning electric discharge. <laughs> and then the whole hotel goes up in flames. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, thank you, right. Constitution. So I, I, I assume you're gonna take take a look at Hemic. Yeah, it's more of a little religion thing, but I'll attempt to help him with the healing check. Okay. I mean, Cintiq's probably asleep. Whoops, that was just initiative. Do a, just do a basic <laughs> one to kind of figure out what's going on. <laughs> initiative against Blitz, the disease. Like Dr. Mario. <laughs> it's like, once every once every round, he makes going to puke in a close blast three. <laughs> Roll initiative. D DA to determine the direction. Okay. South blast. Uh, Flint, th this isn't like a heal check to heal him so much as it is to figure out what's going on. You think uh, he's going to need like a full day of bed rest to actually recover? Okay. Rip striker. Like, and you'll have to like, like, and at the end of his day of bed rest, you'll need to uh, do an actual heal check to, you know, try to try to, uh, you know, heal. Reduce, yeah, reduce, reduce the stage of this disease by uh, by one, because right now he's at stage one of this disease. Yeah, Cintiq will probably have to go. Ackerfeld the... managed to roll a really high endurance check, so he's at stage zero. Yeah, Cintiq will have to go get the remove affliction. Okay, uh, remind me if stage zero is actual cured or just it's removed. not actually. And okay. someone will actually have to look at you real quick to see what's going on. Fine. I'll help. I'll look at Ackerfeld because he seems suspiciously okay. Stage <laughs> zero just means you're a carrier. Oh, shoot. Why are you okay, Ackerfeld? I didn't get too much higher than the previous one. Yeah, let me take a look here. Alright, I'm looking at the, uh... Okay, yeah. All right. It would appear it would appear that he is sick, but the disease seems to be dormant, and looks like it will be dormant for seven days. <laughs> Enough time to watch a creepy girl and come out of a well. <laughs> yep. <laughs> it's okay. All right. Fine. Six days. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that removes a ring reference, though. I'll keep it seven days. <laughs> it's, it's seven, but. No more ring <laughs> references, or I will enforce enforce another two d four. Thirteen d. Oh wait, no. You it's, roll two d four and get one day. It's like wait. <laughs> wait a minute, Donnie. Yeah. Yeah, it's two d four minus two. It can happen. You have no days left. You just <laughs> die. <laughs> <laughs> <It's gonna> explode. <laughs> yes. So Hemic's gonna need a full day of bed rest and uh, a new bed. Well, that's gonna put a dent in the bill. They probably, yeah, they probably, uh, probably, probably the best thing to do is like, like pull out some sort of uh, bed roll that you don't mind ruining and just have him lay on that because he is like sweating slime. Ew. I mean, he, uh, other than the minus one healing surge, technically he's fine. He's just, <laughs> he's just, it's just really, you know. Disgusting. Yeah, he's just, he's, yeah, he's, his skin is all slimy now. But yeah, at the end of that, at the end of his uh, day of bed rest, you'll need to roll another healing check. But first... What's everybody else doing during the day? Um, thanking my Lord and Savior Gary Gygax that I picked Constitution for a primary. Yeah. And then going to bed again. <laughs> Wake up. Thank you. <laughs> Sleep. <laughs> 
Right. So by this point, by this point, I'm going to say like, with the exception of Hemic, it's morning for everybody else. Hemic's sleeping in. Housekeeping, housekeeping is all a bustle as they move past Hemic to uh, <laughs> fix this bed. Nope, 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 nope. They just pour as the you, bed out. as some of you as some of you see out the window, they have a giant boiling boiling uh, wash tub. That they are just jamming all this, all the stuff in there with a stick. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they, they throw the bed on the fire under the wash tub so they can all have a bath. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. like, they oh. took out the eleven foot poles. Yeah. So that's, so that's happening. And, uh, but everybody else, what are you, what, the, what are the rest of you guys doing like during the day? Because Hemix, you know. Resting. This would be our last day, usually, right? Yeah. It should okay, be. Okay, yeah. well, let's get another day and night here then. Okay. So also, however much that is. Well, no, he can sleep during the day, and then you guys can just leave and not pay for another night. Oh, okay. I wasn't sure if he'd also need the night to sleep. If that's the case, then. No, I mean, I mean, you guys would be, have to be out before night. Is what I'm saying, but well, okay. Let me let me think about this because we have a, basically a day to kill. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, I know I'm going to that... be looking for remove affliction somewhere if I can find it. Yeah, <laughs> right. Um, I think I'm trying to think of who because you told me because Ackerfold's still going to be kind of obsessed about this pale lady business. Um, he told the Lord, or she visited the Lord Governor, but the Lord Governor became Cthulhu, and then he's not there anymore. She has an influence around the town, but hasn't had one for long, so there wouldn't be literature written about her unless she was a product of something in the past. Do any of the party, because I suck at history... Is there any parallel to anything in history about the Pale Lady? Okay, uh, I don't know. Uh, uh, I know I rolled roll religion history? on it, okay. and I didn't know anything specific. Well, I, th- I, I think I think the situation has changed enough to where you can roll new knowledge. We've checks learned more. We've learned more better. Yeah. Okay, I guess I'll roll history first. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm not going to pester Cintiq too long about this. Like, I know she has better things to do right now. The fact that I need to look through a city for something means that that's going to go swimmingly later, so I don't mind delaying that a little bit. Yeah. Hmm. But you don't don't know of anything like this, uh, which is interesting. You've never, like, this doesn't appear to be, like, any type of historical figure that you've ever encountered before. Hmm. Okay. Then I guess the other thing is I'm going to roll a religion check to see if okay. I can figure out if... Because at this point, she's actively suspecting that the Pale Lady is some kind of fiend. Because mm-hmm. it does that seem would be super suspicious. Something. Yeah. Otherwise. Because she also targeted... Specifically targeted us, as in the Dragonborns. Oh, my. Ooh. Yeah. Okay. As you okay, you don't know anything, but at the same time, as you are focusing and trying to think of this, suddenly you get like a flash of insight as your your vision goes black and you see the uh, skull that you carry with you for a split second just flash in your face. It's like a just like a you know touching the one ring and seeing the eye of Sauron go yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's the only way I can describe it. It's... Hi. Touching the eye of Sauron and having, having it go. Booga, 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 booga. <laughs> no, if you touch the eye of Sauron, it would go. It would go. Ow! Ow! <laughs> Poke him in the eye. Oh my eye! <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's interesting. Um. Does Cintiq have any rituals that would be good in tracking down information? Like a hunter's blessing or something? Something like that, no. 
I just have most of the basic Arcana ones. Okay, well. But yeah, you don't actually have your skull on you at this time. It's like in your bag, but it's just like like that flash of flash of the skull for a split second. Yeah, you which is sight. You might need to consult it at some point. Usually this thing just ra- you'll consult it and then it won't say anything and then it'll just randomly visit you in the middle of the night. It's yeah. Creepy. It's pretty creepy. I'll I'll tell Akerfeld that I don't remember anything specific, but I might be able to look into it later. But for the rest of the day, I'm going to be looking and seeing if I can find a ritual. Because I know that that would probably help with both his and then Hemix's condition, even though his is stable at the moment. Considering how nasty Hemix has become at at this point, yeah, it's probably a higher priority. Okay. All right, so you, so Cintiq, uh, go ahead and roll a mm, streetwise. <laughs> unless, unless somebody else wants to help her. I do. Oh, I'll say, my first instinct would be to go to Borgia to see if he would know. Okay. I mean, I know he doesn't know the city that well, but no, he's a very, he's very much a shut-in. Most he of the might stuff also he just has have is... some. He has liter. He has a lot of literature lying around. Maybe there's a uh, book there that might have like the ritual in it. That's my streetwise. Okay. Uh, you know what? Uh, okay. Besides Borgia, there's a couple like curio shops, and and a. Uh, I wouldn't necessarily call it a full blown church. It's it's a chapel, to Erathus, in the city. Oh you... good. Oh wait, no, I'm not. I'm not Tethrides. Never mind. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> that. Uh, oh, that. It's, it's a my, you short, might uh... get like so. Yeah, there's there's a chap there's a chapel and there's a curio shop and then there's Borgia. So whichever one of those you want to go to. Um. I guess we could go to the chapel first. We I will actually. See if they can... I'll actually go listen to you if. The townspeople aren't too scared of me by this point. Uh, they're still kind of pensive around you, but pensive I think word's, fine. Got, word's gotten out that you know there's, you know, you guys helped out, so they're not like, as pensive. And fine. plus, you're plus you're being escorted by an imperial fire mage, so they're yeah, that would probably help. Yeah, so I'll go. Grand Moff's antique. <laughs> Okay, um, well, let's go to the chapel first, because it's possible, it makes sense for them to have the ritual, or they might have someone who could perform it, which might be better, because, um, yeah, if we could find someone to perform it instead of Cintiq, that would probably be better. You go into this chapel, and it's not like most chapels, mainly because it's Erathus, it's an Erath, it's, you know, so there's... Library. It's it's like a it's like a small library in here almost. There's it's a there's office. yeah. It's well, it, it's a god of civilization. It's, it's an un, it's an unaligned god of civilization. There, it's more of a place of knowledge and furthering you know technology and stuff like that. So there's a lot of books on uh, you know architecture and thing like things like that in here. It's very much a uh, builder's paradise. If you're like a stonemason or something like that, or, a ma- or you know, like a master mason or anything like that, you, you would go here to, uh, you know, find out more knowledge and stuff. Right. But, you know, medicine is also, you know, a thing civilization has. So maybe maybe one of these books has something on treating ailments. Maybe you could find a... Uh, delay or not delay, but like, you know, there's the delay affliction and remove affliction ritual. Delay affliction is basically you know, the same as remove affliction, only it lasts for a certain amount of time, as opposed to fully gets rid of it. Yeah. Um, it's well, like you I could guess... use delay affliction on a petrified person, and they'd be back for like so many uh, die roll of days. It would be kind of disturbing in its own way. They yeah. go, oh, no, I only have this long and then I'm stoned again. Yeah. Um, Everybody must be stoned. 
I guess so. so there are, be there easier, are, are they? yeah, there are uh, there are some uh, I don't know anchorites here, some some lower level uh, some lower level clerics of sorts here. Also, a bird. Yeah, yeah it's just wind spirit animal. Yeah, the spirit animal followed you. Like, yeah, why do you guys, send this spirit guys, animal? Are you oh. doing okay, guys? Guys? <laughs> hey, listen. Hey, hey. No. Um, okay, well, let's go talk to one of the anchorites then. Okay. All right, they, they're, like, they're a little bit startled by, you know, Ackerfelt, but... You know, they they try to keep their composure after that, and uh, like, yes, uh, uh, how how can we help you? Well, uh, I'm not sure how well this has percolate, percolated through the town yet, but we were dealing with a in this city an underground devil cult, and as you may understand, there are certain afflictions infernal creatures can sometimes impart. Oh, so you're looking for some t some type of way to remove a curse, then? Yes, this one it it acts like an ailment, but because of its infernal nature, it is very much a curse. Oh, oh, right. Well, let's see if we could help you uh, help you out. This person begins stumbling around, like looking for his card catalog. And he's thumbing through there. I'm just gonna roll a intelligence check on him real quick. He thumbs through for a while, and uh, he's like, he's he says, "Well, I, I think you're looking for one of those remove affliction rituals." Unfortunately, we don't have those. In fact, we don't I even have. I think you're searching for this. Yeah. The bad search engine. <laughs> yeah, he's Bing dot com. I think you're searching for remove elephant. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, he's like he says he says we do have we do have one thing here. He pulls out a scroll tube. It appears to be a. Uh, a ritual for a uh, uh, ritual scroll for delay affliction. That's the be he's like this is the best we have. Unfortunately, I think most diseases are treatable with actual medicine. We have all sorts of manuals on that, but curses were that's a that's a different field altogether. This is a holdover from the previous church that was here. This used to be a church of Paylor, but they moved out after the Empire came in. So then can you point us to somewhere where this where we may get where we might get help? Better help I should say. It's like well we're the only we're the People only uh, pla anything? place of worship in the city. Uh we do have some natural healers here, but I don't know about removing curses, like I said. We do like they he he says this is the this is your best bet. It's a delay affliction uh, ritual scroll. I'm just going to look at Sinti because I'm not too fond. Like, I'm not too thrilled with this solution. Does, but... uh, is everyone... Uh, are you going to each place in turn or are you uh, splitting up and having oh, each we... person go into different places? I think just each place in turn. But we went to here first. Um... This isn't great, but Hemok looked really bad off, so it might be yeah. good just to have this just in case, and we'll continue searching the town to see if maybe okay. just in a forgotten corner. He's like, and he says, "Now your, reputa your reputation precedes you, and I would like to help out in any way I can." And uh, let Thumbing me talk his fingers to, together. Let me talk to let me talk to my master real quick, and he runs off with the scroll tube. And he's gone for a little while. Let me talk with my master for a bit. Starts drawing a pentagram on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> a little, a little. It's like, when, are if... all churches actually devil cults? Yes. Oh god, that would be... So no, 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 no. I'm summoning country. a this demon. Was, this, was his, this, was his, this was his diplomacy check. He comes back out. He comes back out and he's like, ah, well... I was going to try to sell it to you for less, but the master demands because this is such a rare item. Uh, 
He de he Microfoot wants. Microfoot hurts an eyebrow. He he's telling the truth. I know. It just seems really weird. But go on, damn. Well, I mean, you know, they don't really have a lot of like magical like stuff like this lying around in town. Yeah. It's like any it's of the holy, a... the, like 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 Erathus is not the holiest of of deities, you know. So it's, it's just it's not like they not it's a... not like they have you know just healing scrolls lying all over the place and scrolls <laughs> of bare magic. <laughs> it is just a uh, scroll too, not a book, right? Yeah, it's a scroll tube. It's it's for it's for a single ritual scroll of uh, delay affliction. But he says. He says, "Yes, our, yes, the, uh, the headmaster says because this is such a rare holdover item from the previous church, he would like ninety gold for it." That's a. We deal. don't have that much gold. Ninety gold is like almost like a deal. Like don't all... that? I mean, that's going to be a significant chunk of the tax money that we. I mean. <laughs> You could yeah, always uh, I mean, come back later. I mean, it's just ninety gold. It's like half. And price. We're, I mean, we're Say not quite now. as flush as we used to be, but you could also come back later after you checked out other sources. I guess that's true. That also might uh, make him a bit more anxious to sell. You could. I don't know. Yeah. Okay. We'll say, um, okay, then let us first at least look around town. You don't know, sometimes rituals do end up in the oddest little places tucked away. But if we cannot find anything else, then we will return to purchase that scroll. Okay. All right, he's, he's like, very well, safe travels. As you guys uh, leave. So where are you guys going to next? The curio shop? Or are you going to Borgia? Or... Like... Curio just like... Feels like we're going to be going to like some sort of like snake oil salesman. It's like, oh, just, you know, drink yeah, no, this. More like a, more like a, more like, it's, it's more like not it's necessarily a pawn shop. shop, but it's a place where it's like odds and ends. It's an odds it's and ends shop. Yeah, like... <laughs> Here, just some dude dropped off this that said it would cure the, the world's ills. I'll okay. sell it to you for 50. I mean, well, Between Ackerfeld's insight and Cintiq's ability to actually detect magic, we should be fine. <laughs> yeah. Should be. Should be. <laughs> well, I mean, if we double botch, there's no way to save against that. <laughs> we double botch. Roll initiative. What? <laughs> <laughs> and then you can't really botch a skill check, but. Bear clerics. <laughs> yeah. It's true. <laughs> yeah. But if we like, like, you know, you know, Flint. If you changed up a few things, you could have bear magic. <laughs> yes, you could be a shaman with a bear. I could have five. I could have an owl bear and two you other know, bears. Mal I, I don't. I and you know, Melora is an unaligned, go capricious god. You might be able to massacre forty plus children with a bear, and she would mind. <laughs> it was. I was feeding the bear. Was okay. I think bear is the one that you can have the most of. You get like two, four, five. I could, I could have six. an owl bear from the Fey Wild. I could have a bear as my fall, like my friend, and then summon bear. You could have two animal companions if you're ranger. Druid, you can have two uh, two familiars if you do it right. Summon Just crocodile bear. Regular bear, and then also Delafez. Okay, well, uh, let's go for the curio shop then next. Okay. Because <laughs> like Borgia is your last resort. Well, also we know where Borgia is at, and I feel safer bothering him late at night if it goes that late. So spend most yeah. of our remaining right. daylight on the looking for. Do curio shops and whatnot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. So you guys go to the curio shop. You you guys know your way by this point. It's eh. It looks like it looks like a converted home. Oh, I, I, I've actually seen front. those. Like. You just go down the street and there's like houses that are like, oh, psychic! Mm -hmm. Yeah, we have those. 
yeah, it's a converted. It's a, it's just a converted home. Not much different. Like wider. Like one of the windows is wider on the front, so you can see in that the you know displays, and it's got a sign. We open the door. There's a little bell ringing. Yep. Yeah, there actually is. You go in, and it's this kindly old lady there. She's like, "Oh, oh, welcome, welcome." Uh, her oh, her eyes are intimidating complete... to the diplomacy. Well, her her eyes her eyes are like glazed over with cataracts. She can like you can tell she can see, but she can like barely. Well, time see. to use thievery instead of diplomacy. <laughs> that was wow. uh, thievery. Yeah, she she doesn't she. She doesn't actually. She doesn't seem startled by Ackerfelt or Cintiq, and as you get closer, you realize she has like cataracts over her eyes. She's probably. She's probably her. So, probably so blurry eyed that she just doesn't notice Ackerfelt is is you know a like a giant dragonborn creature. That's all <laughs> or have. maybe she knows, and she's like, "Oh, Satan, you finally come for me." <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say, yeah, once you reach a certain age special, you're like, uh, who gives a shit? <laughs> oh, the sweet release of death. Take me now, Grim Reaper. <laughs> <laughs> no, she she just doesn't she just doesn't recognize you guys. But uh she's like, How may I help you today? I'm, I'm just gonna look listen. Yeah. Okay, so we've just been looking through town. We have a friend who has become awfully sick with them. It's not quite a disease. I don't want to actually say it's a curse, though. He's not going to say that. But it's something that you can't really treat with proper medicine. So I was just wondering, you never know where certain objects or even books get stashed away that no magics that can cure these kinds of things. And she's like, ah, ah, yes, yes. Something of a uh, supernatural origin, maybe. Hmm. Let's see if we have anything. All right, now I'm going to need only one of you guys to roll a D100. All right, hang on. Well, hang on. Here, wait, before you roll. Here, here's how this luck roll is going to go. I'm going to roll a D100. If you get within 10 of this D100, if you get within... 9 to 29 of this D100. What if you rolled a 1? Would you have to roll a negative? It's like it's like you have to be within 10 of this 19 on your luck roll, so just roll a D100 and see. Alright. I'll, I'll leave this to Scott. Ah, <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't That's have. That's lucky, alright. Very high. Yeah, no, uh... As as she's looking around, she does n she definitely does not have anything like that. She doesn't have like any any remove afflictions or anything like that. <laughs> Magic items at all? Oh, no, she seen. has she has some interesting like w like uh, bits and baubles and you know yeah. things like that. But <laughs> just for nothing... posterity's sake, uh, Chris, roll your D one hundred. She I has. Guess. She has a scroll in the back called Health Bear. Oh! <laughs> I should have done it! Oh. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it too. That's too just... bad. Ripping pepperonis. Alright. I just well, do a comic because. Anyway, oh, no. you do see some like you do see some interesting stuff in there. There is uh, even some old uh there's some old literature that's pretty interesting. Uh, nothing ritualistic. Uh, oh. Hmm. Any old literature on maybe pale ladies or infernal creatures that act like that? Uh, I think that's uh, a playboy. I, I don't know. Uh, I don't. I don't know. You'd need a, like a perception check. Acrofell, just... you do this because I mean, I'll... okay. Ways. Not a high perception check, but you know, it's just, there's a lot of stuff. <laughs> Okay. I think I should just looks stop like, rolling dice. Looks like that old literature is in fact her Harlequin romance lo novels. <laughs> no, it's it's Jedi romance, <laughs> the holocron romance novels. Walking into the I'm shop, walking into the shop, everyone has been inflicted with severe cases of cataracts. <laughs> oh, the, yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the curse but, of cataracts. 
she's she does say she d- she does say, hmm, I sense a magic user here. I know where everything is in this place. And she she thumbs through like it's like without like she's she uh, she clearly knows where everything is. Like she doesn't even need her sight. She just like kind of walks up sprightly to one of the bookshelves and says, maybe maybe this could help. And she holds out a book. It appears to be a treatise on some interesting like magical staff. The blue staff okay. lost to ages okay. that will never Fortunately, be found Fortunately, it doesn't seem to be arcane in nature. It seems to be some sort of uh, religious item. God damn it, get that book. You... I'll kill you. Hmm. <laughs> I'll kill you, then I'll bring you back to get that book. <laughs> Coming through it quickly, it seems to be religious in nature. Is it like, is it a hopeful religious? Like, does it deal with undead of any kind or devils of any kind? Uh, it's, it mainly has to do with this staff. Does it have a picture of the staff? Screw question. Yes, does it have a picture of the staff? Yes, it does. Hang on. 